Okay, so in this video, I'm going to quickly show how to add audio to Vuforia augmented reality so that the sound will play when the uh, tracker image is seen by the camera and the sound will stop when the tracker image is lost, when you take it away from the camera. So pretty simple um, and it's gotten much simpler with Vuforia. So I'm gonna assume you've already gotten the Vuforia demo already loaded uh, into your computer and you've gotten it running. If that's not the case, leave comments in the comment section and I can create a video for that. Uh, but, but they give you instructions, so I don't think it's necessary. Um, so once you have that running, let's add a sound. So I have a sound right here that I'm gonna add that I've already dropped into my assets folder. So you'll need to drop whatever wave that you're gonna use into your assets folder, then it'll show up here in your assets area. And I'm gonna drag and drop it over the image target right here. And when I do that, nothing shows up over here in the hierarchy window, but on the right in the inspector, you will see that you now have an audio source where you didn't before, and your uh, wave is already populated in the audio clip. So that's what's, that's what's happened there. Now, I don't want it to play on awake. Let's turn that off. I don't want to just start playing as soon as, uh, as, soon as I turn on the augmented reality. Um, and in this case, I think I will have it loop. That's up to you if you want it to loop or not. And you can do these other pitch settings and all that as you wish. Now, the, the thing that we're going to try and do is get this to trigger when the, this picture is seen. So we're going to use the default trackable event handler that comes now with Vuforia, their script, now has um, some of commands you can do when the target's found and when it's lost. So we're going to take this audio source right here and um, we're going to put it in there. So I'm going to create a plus right here for what happens when it's found and another plus right here for what happens when it's lost because you have to get the turn off when it's lost. I'm going to take the audio source here and drag and drop it right over the top of the window and it already knows image target audio source is what's going to be affected. I'll do it to this one too. So you just drag and drop it right over there. Now we have to give it a function. We have to say that when it's found we want it to play. And so when you put something in this window, your functions will get populated. You'll have a bunch of options here. So I want to use the audio source and I want to go to play right there. Play. Now audio source dot play is what's going to happen. And when it gets lost, I want it to stop. So I go to audio source stop. Simple enough. The only thing that's going to be a little problem is right now this has tracked or extended tracked. Um, you know, this considered the target is visible, even if it's not visible, that's the extended track. So if, if it kind of goes away for a little bit, it'll still assume it's, it's visible. We want to turn that off. We want to just go tracked. We want it to be strict. When you see the target on, when you don't see the target off. Um, that's it. That's all you should have to do. Let's test it out. Turn on play right here. There I am. And nothing's happening. We'll put this here. There's my sound, and we'll take it away, and my sound is gone. One more time, and then it's gone. So that's it. That's all you have to do.